equation and the scale. We can idealize an equation, as the ancients used the scale. Equation comes from the meaning of equality. In the past, equality analysis was extremely important, due to trade, where scales were used to sell products. So it was necessary to balance the scale, and this occurred when it was equalized, the weights between the arms of the scale. Then an equation can be determined when the scales are at the same height. A seller puts two fruits on a scale, let's call the fruit x, and let's say we want to know how much each fruit weighs. First the scale hangs on the side with the fruit, and the unbalanced scale is not the same, that is, it is not an equation. But if I put a weight of 100 grams, and the balance is balanced, then we have an equation. So we have that 100 grams is equal to two fruits x. And to know how much each fruit weighs. If the fruits are the same, then if I divide the weight, and divide the number of fruits by two, I will have the weight of one fruit, which is 50 grams. And so we see the principle of the equation. But now imagine that we have both fruits and put a weight of 50 grams. The balance is unbalanced, but if we now put two 50 gram weights, then the balance will be balanced. But if my goal is to know how much a fruit weighs, then I take a weight, and I take a fruit. The point is to see in reality, and understand how it is written mathematically. And that requires training and meditation, which is the codification of a real act, in mathematical symbols. These things are necessary, because the answer is not always trivial, that is, something easy to understand. There are times when the numbers can get big, or they can involve interest, as in business, or it can even be several repetitive things, that knowing the mathematical notation, makes programming easier, so that the computer solves the entire list of products. Now. Suppose I have only one fruit, and put it on the scale arm, then put a weight of 100 grams, and the scale goes down to the position of the weight of 100 grams, then I put a weight of 50 grams next to the fruit and now the balance is balanced, in this case we can write 100 grams is equal to fruit x plus 50 grams. And now we cannot break the weight of 100 grams in two to remove 50 grams from both sides. But we can solve the equation. And solving the equation we have that the fruit x weighs 50 grams. See that the basic rule of the equation is to match two things, to get information we don't know. If you are looking for more content from different areas, visit the reformadorstasad.com website. News and detailed content can be found with system of research and organization of text and video.